one of the really delicious, healthy and most famous things in Iran, big and so so powerful. The name of this beautiful and delicious food is a squash. Squash. But in Iran we call the, the Iranian name is Kadu Halbai. Squash. Kadu Halbai. Yeah, Kadu Halbai. But uh, unfortunately in Iran it's so big and uh, you cannot buy part of this squash. Uh, you have to buy the big one and cut it and use it. So let's go to have this delicious food. food. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hello everybody, welcome to Iranian Local Taste Channel. I'm Ali and Zahra is my wife, we are a couple. Our mother uh, are really good uh, chef and uh, they cook really delicious things and we born in their houses. And uh, so we had competition in the beginning when we got married, but right now we start to teach and cook together because uh, the food it will be most and more delicious and uh, we will be more satisfied together, okay? Uh, Zahra uh, will speak English but not very well and my English is not very well but I try to uh, do my best so uh, let's go to have the one of the really beautiful uh, vegetarian Iranian food called uh, halva Kadu halvai yeah Kadu halvai and in English is squash yeah. uh, the recipe is so easy and it's so quick and delicious and so, really really delicious really really delicious <laughs> So guys, uh, we want to start the cooking and uh, I have to uh, record the movie sometime and Zahra sometime record the movie because right now is nobody around here and we have to help each other to show you how you can cook one of the Iranian uh, food. Please if you don't hit subscribe, subscribe it and support us and give us the energy because Zahra really uh, is waiting and me also, we are really waiting for you and your energy and uh, we keep going and uh, please write a comment and if you like it and if you have questions please don't hesitate to ask us hope you make it and enjoy it and uh, it's really tasty really really tasty yeah. I really mm. like it mm. Mm. <laughs> and now we want to cut squash it's really big It's really hard. <laughs> Ali, I need your help. Please come. The only things that we need, uh, I mean recipe, is uh, squash. That is the main things. And uh, a little bit saffron that we mix it with a little bit of water. Onion, uh, spoon, two spoon sugar, and uh, oil and uh, walnut. Uh, this is the main things that we need for this uh, delicious food. Sarah, mm. I come for helping you. Yeah, please come, come, come. And a little bit of uh, ginger, turmeric, and uh, cinnamon. It's the only things that we need for this food. Look at the color and it's really good smell and it's really tasty. And now we cut it. It's up to you how you want cut. I cut like this. The next step is turn on the other and uh, fry squash, yeah? We add the oil and we wait to the oil be a little bit more hot and be ready for frying a squash. 
So it depends uh, to the shape of the squash. If you want, you can uh, fry it like this. If you want, you can cut it like this, uh, slice it and fry it. But uh, Zahra prefer to this shape. Maybe I will change the shape. I really don't know. We will see what's happened going on. Okay. So the oil is ready for squash and uh, put the squash here like this and a little bit like this. Because our uh, pan is uh, too small, I cut the squash and uh, sort of like this. Look at the colors and look at the smell. Unbelievable! So, uh, during uh, frying the squash, we try to uh, cut the onion and uh, we have to fry the onion also. Uh, so, we cut the onion like this and uh, we put it. Hey guys, Zara told you half kilo of uh, this squash is for two person. So I think this one is six kilo or seven kilo. Yeah, at least is. Uh, and uh, the rest you cannot leave uh, outside or if you cover and if you leave somewhere, uh, the color it will be changed and uh, it will be useless, you know. Uh, so you have to cut it. You have to uh, pin skin and uh, cut it and slice it and put in the cover or in a nylon or a plastic and uh, leave it in the fridge uh, and after that you can use uh, whenever you want so we start to cut it and uh, we will leave it so it's not necessary to record the movie just I want to tell you uh, what we do to the rest of this swatch look how is amazing unfortunately you are not here to smell but wow look hmm the squash speak to you right now eat me okay i use fork for uh do it reverse because it's much better but you can do it whatever you like So when the color is like this, it means uh, the squash is ready and it's uh, enough to fry anymore. And we'll leave it here. So we add more. Into the first set of So uh, during frying a squash, we start to uh, frying onion and uh, when the squash is ready, so onion also is ready.
Fora do jogo, né? Fora. Ok, I think the time for onion is enough. I really like it. It's so fresh and delicious. I really don't know how can I wait till making this amazing food to eat it. So I start eat it without making really delicious, but it's not bad. I like it. So it's time to mixing onion with uh, squash. This is onion that we fry it. So we put all inside. And I fry a little bit more because my mother-in-law may be come tonight and uh, we have to yeah, look how is beautiful. Great. So, what is the next? We mix a little bit because the onion is uh, in the end. Okay. Let's see. And now for half kilo squash we need two glass hot water okay and sugar two spoons spoon sugar Because this pot is uh, small, uh, we need just one glass hot water, okay? And 15 minutes, it's enough for this, for boiling. For what? For boiling. 15 minutes during this 15 minute the water will gone but five minutes or three minutes before that all water will gone we have to add the saffron you know uh, we had a little bit saffron and uh, you have to put some water and you mix saffron with hot water uh, that we make this really small cap uh, depends how many saffron do you want to use but uh, a little bit is enough uh, and uh, you mix with hot water and before ending all hot water inside the pot you will uh, add the saffron inside so after that we have walnut that i will show you how you should use after that so if you attention the water was here but right now the water is gone and uh, we have a little bit more water so uh, i made saffron and uh, i add saffron the food the smell is unbelievable great finish all things that we needed was like this and uh, walnut we have uh, two recipe uh, you can add walnut inside or if you want you can uh, use walnut for garnish and for designing uh, we use uh, walnut for design and uh, eat it extra but if you want you can add walnut inside that it will be so delicious but depends to the people like it inside or for design or eat it with the food the old recipes that we use it was like this so we are waiting for show you what is the result
Okay guys, I will show you one great thing, is a grape juice. The key for this food is grape juice that make unbelievable. It's really delicious. My mother made it, it's homemade, but uh, if you go to the market, you can find uh, grape juice. It's not 100% uh, uh, natural, it's a special grape juice. It's, uh, you can see it is different than the normal one. Uh, if you want, if you find homemade, it's much better. And uh, you add it just uh, a little bit to the food to make tasty. Or if you want, you can add a little bit wine also uh, for making uh, so 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 delicious. That's it. Finish. Gum. Waiting for showing you the result with the hobby like. Uh -huh. So we wait five minutes more and uh, right now we have a little bit more water. It's the time to add turmeric, cinnamon and ginger. All things, it depends how, how, how much do you like, you know. Uh, so I add uh, cinnamon. Turmeric. And ginger and a little bit more cinnamon I really love ginger when mixed with the food it's awesome enough so Look how he is amazing, how he is amazing. Look at the color, wow. Smell is wonderful. So it's a time to uh, eat it. And uh, I want to convert it to another plate. And uh, let me, we do the process together. Look at the onion. In Iran, we call uh, Zahra. What Zahra. is the name? Yeah. Kadu Halvai. Yeah. In Iran, we call Kadu Halvai. Uh, and in a restaurant, you cannot find this type of food because it's uh, actually homemade. And uh, you will, I can say, never ever find. This type of food in a in a modern restaurant maybe uh, just five person if you travel to Iran you can find it in traditional uh, restaurant so it's a time if you want to use walnut it's a time for decoration or uh, add it with walnut that make your food really powerful delicious tasty and uh, Please try it one day and hope you send me a message and say, Ali, it was wonderful and we never tried this type of food, never ever. But from now, we will start to cook this type of food every week. So, it's the things that is ready. Come near and see how it is. Yes, we, we did, did it. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. And the uh, food is ready. We make it together. And uh, right now, Zahra want to taste it and uh, tell you it's delicious or no. Okay. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let me I try if it's amazing. Yeah, first Zahra always tastes. If it's amazing, I will taste. Mm really it's really really delicious i hope you try and make and uh, enjoy in your home 
it was uh, one of the Iranian food, vegetarian, that we made it. But uh, each week we try to make two or three episodes and a cooking class for you. If you like Iranian food, if you like our video, please hit the subscribe and give us the energy and write comment. If you uh, sing about some special Iranian food, we can make everything together. Uh, hope see you in Iran. Thank you for watching. Hope uh, see you soon again. And uh, nothing else. Take care and uh, stay healthy in these special situations. Zara? Thank you for everything. Please subscribe and yeah. comment. Comment, wow. subscribe and comment. Have a nice day and uh, we will go to eat this amazing food. We cannot wait anymore. Have a nice time.